lot of uh, the focus is obviously on seizure reduction because that's what actually gets the drug regulatory approval. Um, but we're looking at a lot of other secondary outcome uh, measures, uh, some of the non-seizure uh, outcomes. Uh, and in, in study one, uh, uh, we also looked at the brief, which is a, a questionnaire that looks at executive function in these children. Um, and it was really included in the study to basically um, uh, understand if there was no negative impact of fenfluramine on these measures of executive function. But when we actually looked at the data, uh, it was a pleasant surprise to us that we actually saw improvements in, in some uh, measures of an executive function in those that received drug compared to placebo, where those that were on placebo actually had uh, a slight worsening. And so we're starting to look into that a little bit, bit more. Uh, certainly a lot of it uh, is likely driven by the reduction in seizures, um, but it's possible that there may be something else in terms of uh, fenfluramine's mechanism of action that may actually confer some of these improvements that we see in the non-seizure related outcomes. You know, as, as pediatric epileptologists, we like to have uh, uh, drugs that have different mechanisms of action, at least as we best understand them. There's still a lot of drugs that we use every day where we probably still don't understand the full range of mechanisms of action. Um, but fenfluramine is certainly unique uh, in the sense that uh, we know it's a serotonergic uh, agent and there are no other uh, antiepileptic drugs in the space right now that, that have a serotonergic mechanism of action. And further, there's some, uh, some animal data that suggests that, that fenfluramine may act at the sigma-1 receptor, which is involved in neurotransmitter release. Uh, there's a lot more work being done there, but uh, even if that doesn't end up being a major uh, mechanism, the serotonergic uh, activity uh, is clearly different from any of the other um, drugs, so it really represents a p potential new class uh, of anti-epileptic drug th therapies.